Hi, this is David with Red Hat, and I'm going to show you how to deploy a MediaWiki site to the cloud using OpenShift Express. I'm using Fedora 14 for this demo, but just as easily could have used Ubuntu, OS X, or Windows. To learn how to use OpenShift Express with your operating system, please visit us online at openshift.redhat.com. The steps for deploying MediaWiki require creating a PHP application in Express, adding the MediaWiki code to the new application, using git to commit the changes to your application's repository, pushing those changes to the cloud, and running through the MediaWiki configuration wizard. Now let's get started by running the rhc-create-app express client tool for creating our MediaWiki application. In this example, I chose to name my application mwiki. I'm specifying that this app is of type PHP so that the appropriate server stack is set up. And finally, I'm specifying my username for authentication. At this point, the rhc create app command is setting up my environment for deploying a PHP app in the cloud. After successfully creating an application, I need to go download MediaWiki and put it in the PHP directory. In this case, the PHP directory is my document root, so that when I point my web browser at my DNS name, it will pull up the MediaWiki configuration wizard. Now we are ready to add all of our MediaWiki files to the Git repository, commit them to the Git repository, and push them to the Git master. Once the push has completed, our MediaWiki application has been deployed to the cloud and is almost ready for use. So let's go test it out and make sure that I deployed MediaWiki correctly. And just as expected, we are prompted with the wiki configuration wizard. I'm going to enter a wiki name set up the email address, admin password, and configure the database. I'm going to deploy using SQLite or SQLite if you prefer. I don't want my database to be anywhere underneath document root for security purposes, so I'm going to add an additional dot dot to the default path specified so that the database is created in an existing directory called data that is parallel to the repo directory. While MediaWiki is installing, let me just let you know that there's a knowledge base article titled Deploying OpenShift Applications Using SQLite that should help explain a little bit more about how to do it and what the directory structure looks like. The knowledge base is available on openshift.redhat.com. At this point, MediaWiki has created a local settings.php file in the config directory. MediaWiki instructs me to move that file up one level to the parent directory or root of the MediaWiki installation. Since the local settings file was created by MediaWiki, this file does not exist in my Git repository. The best way to access this file is by using the rhc-snapshot client tool to download the entire mwiki application. Once the file is downloaded, I'm going to extract it to a temp directory and then copy the local settings.php file to the right location. In this example, that location is just up one directory from the temp directory I created. Now all that's left to do is remove the temp directory if you want to and then use git to add, commit, and push the local settings file to the cloud. And voila! I have successfully deployed MediaWiki to the cloud using OpenShift Express. Thanks for watching everybody. You can visit us online at openshift.redhat.com to learn more and watch other videos which will help you get your applications deployed to the cloud.